Hey everybody, welcome to Photo Blue. And today I thought I'd show you how to do some retouching in Affinity Photo using the healing tools that they have available. So let's go over here to the uh, healing tools. Uh, this icon may appear differently depending on what you had selected last under it. Uh, but there's a healing brush tool, a patch tool, a blemish tool, uh, an in-painting brush tool, and a red eye remover tool. I'm not really going to go over the red eye removal tool or the patch tool uh, in this video, but those are basically options. Okay. The patch tool is to remove or patch larger areas. Say, for instance, if you have uh, somebody standing in front of a brick wall, you can remove them using the patch tool sometimes. These other tools are for smaller... Um, uh, blemishes or dust or th just smaller things you want to get rid of. So let's start first with the healing brush tool, which is similar to the healing brush in uh, Adobe uh, Photoshop. So we're going to select this. And with this particular tool, you actually need to hold down Alt and uh, pick an area that you want to use. Up in the corner, there's something up here, and I'm not sure what this is, but we want to get rid of it. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key, and then I'm going to left click, and you'll see it puts a little X here. Now that X is the area that it's using to patch this. So it's going to take this texture and this color and everything and patch it here. So if we go back into here and we um, just use the brush, you can see how the X moves around. Uh, so that's one way to designate like where it's going to uh, take the texture from to, to uh, replace whatever's there. The other thing to uh, remember is up here there's um, attributes about the brush. So right here we can change the size of the brush, the opacity of the brush, which is right now at 100% and uh, the flow and you can actually hit more here and there's all these different things you can change about the the brush size and and, and the shape of the brush and etc so just to be aware of that the main thing you want to be aware of is the size usually because the, that's one of the most important attributes you don't want a huge brush most of the time and you want it to a size that's going to work for you all right so we've used the healing brush now we're going to go down and we're going to go to the blemish tool. The blemish tool does not require you to um, uh, hit alt and select an area of uh, the photograph to use as a, kind of a retouch guide. What it does is you click on whatever you want to get rid of. In this case, I want to get rid of this bird. And as you move along, it will take that as a sample. So you can see the bird kind of moves in and out. So we're actually just kind of sliding the texture around until it disappears. So that's another way to get rid of a blemish or a spot uh, or an unwanted bird in the distance in a, in a photograph. Finally, the last tool that we're going to go over today is the in-painting brush tool. This one is interesting because you actually mark an area in the computer um, figures out or the program figures out what to do about how to blend it into the background. So this is really good for phone lines. So I'm going to just click and drag and you can see this red area that it selects here. And this is the area that it's going to replace. And so when I let go, it thinks a second and it, and it just gets rid of that phone line and it just blends it in. So we can continue down and so on and so forth. So that's another tool that we have to uh, correct things, and that one's particularly good for phone lines. So that's how you use the healing tools in Affinity Photo. This has been Photo Blue, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.